Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through what I think makes the song G-O-A-T, Goat, by the band Polyphia, such a great song. Uh, so this is from Polyphia's 2018 release, New Levels, New Devils. Uh, it's a really good song. I'm not the biggest fan of Polyphia, but this song holds something special for me, and it's one of their most popular tracks, that's for sure. So the song starts off with this really you know, eerie, kind of really serious sounding uh, sample that Tim Henson put together. And then it repeats again. Um, yeah, so Tim Henson took this sample uh, I saw in a video and then he added this um, walking bass line, the syncopated bass line to it. And this is, if we look at this a bit more, we can dissect why it sounds so eerie. So it starts on a B and it walks up to the third, to the D, and then it goes up to the G, F sharp, then C sharp. A sharp and then comes back round again and it has that you know the loop on it above it and um, so basically this is around a, a B minor sound so that's already sounds quite serious right and um, what makes this riff extra eerie and extra special is the inclusion of this A sharp note here so you're here 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 uh, so if I play this so that's the B minor triad and then let's add the A sharp on top so you get a B minor major chord there. With this A sharp, normally it should sound like this. So that raised seven really adds that bit of tension in, right? And this is basically um, a B harmonic minor scale, so it has a raised seventh, like a major seventh. So that sounds like this. Uh, so this progression here sets up the entire song. So basically you hear this kind of the hook of the song and then there's some variations of it. And then within this framework, um, Tim Henson came up with arguably one of the best riffs of the decade. And then the riff goes back there again. Uh, I had a go at doing this one myself, so let me know how I did. <laughs> Um, but I didn't do the part, the, the flexing part, which you hear on this uh, second time round. I should just so uh, goddamn clean. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll have a go at trying to do that one. But yeah, that's a really cool riff. And so if you take quickly take a look at the tab, you can see here I've highlighted the root notes, and these are basically the same notes that are in that you know the piano piece that you hear in the start. So it's really well written to fit within that. And also you can hear if I play along here, you can actually hear the um, it's like a brass part playing these notes actually. Up to the G, F sharp. And then, as uh, so we get clay kicking in on the drums. So yeah, instantly really, really cool. Um, if you listen on this second time through, they miss the first beat and they play on the and, that's what gives it a really cool, like, offbeat feel for the one bar. Two, three, four. It comes on that and one and two and three and four. So that's a really cool little mix up you can do there. I thought that was pretty impressive. If you just listen to the interplay between the bass and the drums, like uh, I find like all of the cymbal work and snare work kind of fits really well with the guitars, and the uh, the kick is really following along with the bass. enter this nice atmospheric section is the first divide of the song before we come back to the hook where um the uh, scott taking solo in this one so let's get along i love that really gritty tone i heard that um Tim Henson said in a video about how he wrote this song, they used the Axe Effects, and I believe it's called the Boutique Amp Setting they were using. It's that really, like, really compressed, really gainy, clean sound. Right? You know, it sounds fantastic. Right? So we have this 
flexing solo bit, and then we come back. And then we come back to the main hook of the song. There's some really cool drum fits. <laughs> and we go to a bass solo, bass flex. You haven't noticed in this song how the bass is more distorted than the guitars. But another funny thing as well as this song is like like a jazz song, you know, like everyone's taking their turn to to solo in the song uh, in the video walking around a church. <laughs> Just listen to the interplay between the the bass and the the drums, like especially with those like um, with the slapping and popping. Like listen how that interplays with the drums. Like. leads us to the outro of the song, which is a play on the first part of the song, but just much more, um, you know, like kind of half-time feel to it, right? Kind of marching along, right? And then you've got Tim flexing here again. If you hear that riff there, like how the, the drum accents the, the guitar riff at the end there, the run. Really cool effect, and then obviously it comes on the one there. Nice and strong. Again there as well, like the drums accent in the, the guitar line. <laughs> just, yeah, that, it's just a great song, isn't it? <laughs> I love how like the drum doesn't play on the last beat there, it's just the guitars on their own. So if you listen, one, two, the guitars just on their own there. And then you, obviously that really relates to the intro of the song because now we've got that the same sample going on again, right? So it really concludes the song nicely that. Uh, to summarize my thoughts really quickly on that one, it's you know, the song sounds very complex, but it's all based around that, you know, that just that based around that whole one sample, right? Um, you know, with some variations thrown in there. And the whole song has that feeling of like, this is this is who we are, this is, you know, Polyphia, and, you know, you're gonna either love us or hate us, but I think most people love them, right? Uh, so that concludes this one. Um, it's been a while since I did one of these things, but they're always good fun to do. So please let me know down below what song you would like to see next. And um, go over and if you haven't heard of Polyphia already, uh, what well, rock are you living under? But uh, go and check out their album. You know, I said new levels, new devils. There'll be links, relevant links and stuff like that down below. Well, as always, uh, I want to say thank you very much to the patrons supporting this channel. And if you're interested in becoming a patron and supporting this work and supporting the time that I put into making these videos, then you can find a link for that down below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>